It was August 15, 1944 in Townsville. While Australia watched the horrors of World War II unfold across the South Pacific, a figure strode up to a sleeping Australian soldier and swung a blacksmith hammer three times into his skull. That soldier was Warwick Sidney Mill and his death devastated my family, especially my grandmother Winifred. His murder changed my life too. My first encounter with Warwick was a photo that hung on my mum's bedroom wall for as long as I can remember. In the photograph, Warwick is five years old and dressed in girls' clothes. I absolutely idolised the photo. In a world where boys liking female things was shameful, Warwick showed me that it was okay. But when I later discovered that Warwick was murdered, possibly because of his sexuality, that comfort turned into fear. The homicide investigation run by the police and army was an utter failure and his killer was never found. After initial furore, Warwick's murder was almost entirely forgotten, until now. In launching my own cold case investigation, I went on an incredible journey of discovery through the defining moments of Australia's history. I learnt about the toll of World War II on the Australian home front, state-sponsored homophobia and military disgraces. These forces have not only sealed Warwick's fate, but have shaped Australia, and in a way, me as well.